Get us into Newsday with Barrow and Julian. Sort of come uh, uh, business news and we'll find out about some of the share problems for a couple of big fast food chains in America. So a reminder of our top uh, news headline is that our US authorities have charged three members of one of the most powerful families in Honduras with money laundering and drug trafficking. Time now for the latest sports headlines with Anna Stoltz. Thanks, Paula. South Africa's Brian Havana has cemented his place in a World Cup history. In a match that South Africa needed to win to make sure of a quarter-final place, he scored a hat-trick as the Springboks beat USA 64-0, the US's biggest ever World Cup defeat. Havana now has 15 World Cup tries and is level with Jenna Lomu. Namibia won their first ever World Cup point as they picked up a losing bonus in their 17-16 defeat to Georgia. South Sudan's first First appearance at a football World Cup qualifying match was abandoned because of heavy rain after just 10 minutes. The preliminary round first leg qualifier at home to Mauritania Baby. will resume on Thursday morning with the score at one all. And Jurgen Klopp is expected in Liverpool on Thursday morning. The BBC understands the club hope to unveil him on Friday. He's expected to sign a three-year deal. Alistair, thanks very much. And Alistair will be back a bit later. Joining us now from our Hong Kong bureau with the latest business news is Andrew Wood. And Andrew, big fall in the price of a couple of uh, major fast food restaurants. Uh, one finger licking one and one uh, which comes in a, a round, usually a round, <laughs> round size. Tell us more. Uh, yes, I think you're talking about KFC, the chicken, fried chicken company, and Pizza Hut, uh, which makes pizzas. Now, they're both owned by Young Brands. What a great name, eh, for a food company. And, uh, you know, as you notice, uh, KFC, Pizza Hut are found around the world. But uh, over the past uh, couple of years or so, Young has said that basically China is its future. I mean, plenty of companies have said that. And uh, unfortunately, mm -hmm. things don't seem to be going quite so well in China at the moment. And when it announced, uh, when Yum Brands announced its uh, its financial results, how much profit it made, um, that was poorer than expected for the three months uh, July, August, uh, sorry June, July, and August. So the shares fell by more than 17%, nearly one fifth. I mean, KFC has had problems. One of its uh, a television news story linked the brand to a supplier of food which was accused of selling meat that was out of date and so the chief executive the chief executive saying that basically things are below their expectations and is that the major reason for this plummet in the shares yes yes i mean actually don't forget also um young brands also owns taco bell so there's also problems too with the um, uh, the revaluation of the, uh, the yuan. You may remember a month or two ago um, that the Chinese devalued the, their currency. So that meant that basically.